Hey guys, Mahali here from the Reaction Brothers. Today I wanted to do a trailer for Call of Duty The Infinite Warfare Multiplayer. It came out a few days ago, but I've been busy watching the COD Champs. I didn't get a chance to react to it yet. I, um, I've been backing Optic all the way in COD Champs. And um, now I've got a chance to react to it, so we're going to react to it and hopefully see what this game's about. There's been a lot of rumours about people not being happy about where it's going, what direction this game's going. Because um, the campaign trailer showed that it's sort of heading towards space, and there has been a bit of gameplay for the campaign in space. A lot of people aren't happy with that because they want boots on ground sort of Call of Duty, like old classic stuff. However, I... I wasn't somebody that jumped on the hate train for this, I was sort of reserved to myself for this trailer because I mainly play the multiplayer, I don't play campaign very much, though I did enjoy some of the campaigns. Zombies is another thing I do play a lot of, but mainly multiplayer, so I'm reserving my judgement for this. There's two videos, there's one that's a tra uh, trailer reveal for multiplayer, and then there's a second one for the overview of the multiplayer trailer so we're going to watch both see where it is that activision is heading with this i'm pretty excited i'm pretty pumped let's watch it guys all right guys uh, this is my sister shanae hello she decided to join in on this reaction because she's a huge cod fan like me uh have you heard much about this uh, a little bit a little bit really. but you try to stay away from it or you just haven't heard of it i haven't really heard of it fair it's enough um she's a huge black ops 3 would that be your favorite yeah 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 uh did you play Advanced Warfare? And Advanced Warfare is this one, in case you don't remember. Look. That one. Did you play that one? I think you did, but I you think might so. have forgot it. Yeah, I don't remember it. Yeah, that's alright. But this is basically the game I hope that this game is not like, guys. And we, um, the movement system in this is out of control. Do you know how Black Ops 3 has that little meter? Yeah. Where you can't boost too much because the meter runs out? Yeah. This game is basically with no meter. You could just boost around, it it's <laughs> chaotic. And I'm hoping, for the life of me, Infinite Warfare is not like that. But otherwise, guys, let's just head into it. This is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Alright, this is better. Oh, what's that? Oh, nice sniper. Warfighter, combat. Wait, are they going with the specialist thing again? Sorry guys, this is really loud. They just can't hear myself. Striker, tactical support. Gravity Vortex gun. What is this? Holy shit. Holy shit, what was that? Oh my god, is that actual proper active camo? I hope so. Ooh. What is Hey, that's that awesome. Is... <laughs> FTL. What was that? Like a thrust? Submit. Reaper ready. You see a Reaper? <laughs> what the hell was that? They're like a little trap, but not really. Oh my fucking lord. I almost, I almost feel dead. What was this? I feel e like I'm gonna be scared. E Wait, what just happened there? Pre-order now and get access to the multiplayer beta. Oh my god. I don't I don't know if I can play this. It looks so intense. It, it was a fucking more than that. I'm I'm actually mildly I, it's hard to tell, but I'm mildly happy. It looks like Black Ops 3. It kinda looks older. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? How, how older? Like it looks like an old game. So, you know like Black Ops is like really updated and new looking. 
Yeah, it's a little it's, futuristic, right? Yeah, it's kind of. This didn't goes look back. as futuristic as the campaign's been looking. But don't you think it looks like Black Ops Three? It looks like yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Was that not specialists? I have no idea. I saw Reaper ready. I'm, I was a bit confused. Oh man, there's just so much in there. So actually, what, while we're here, we might as well get quickly into the overview of multiplayer. Um, <laughs> there's one more trailer, so we'll look at that. I guess it's just a trailer. So. Infinite Warfare multiplayer combines a fluid momentum-based movement system, so, player-focused map design, deep yes, customization, and a brand new combat system to create an intense gameplay experience where every second counts. With a focus on rewarding different play styles, allowing players to earn and craft Ooh. unique weapons, well, the cool. and outfit themselves with all what new rain future tech and equipment, Infinite what Warfare was that? offers the player more choice and more freedom than ever before. At oh, this sun looks awesome! The all new combat rig. Built around six distinct styles of play, each rig is outfitted with three distinct payloads designed to boost player effectiveness and lethality in combat, as well as okay. three unique persistent perks called traits. Players will select one payload and one trait to use in combination to create different play styles to bring into the fight. Okay. The player can choose from six base rigs. Let's take a closer look at three of them. Designed for a mid-range assault style Warfighter. player, equip the Warfighter rig to support the team by getting fast kills, quickly getting to an objective, and always being on the offensive. What's this like ability? Warfighter's powerful claw payload is a cool. rapid fire spread shot firearm with ricochet ballistic rounds. What's the oh, shit. Take out enemies in front of you and around blind corners. Pair that up with the persistence trait, cool. where score streaks no longer reset when you die, but take higher point values to attain. For the player who hey, this the cool. down an area, there is the Merc rig. This imposing suit is equipped with payload options designed to clear enemy threats quickly and with authority. The Bull Charge payload equips you with an armored riot shield to That's penetrate cool. enemy defenses like that. or quickly take out opponents that stand in your way. This also awesome. Are you running quick while you use fusion it? Trait, which That's regenerates cool. your health faster after taking damage. Stand your ground in a firefight as you continue to defend your team and your objective. Speed kills with the FTL combat rig. Kitted with an array of experimental military tech, FTL is the evolution in covert guerrilla ops. Equip the Eraser Payload, oh. a compact, energy-based handgun that incinerates enemies who are slowed down. Oh, yes. Slow down with the Power Slide trait to enhance sliding capabilities like speed, distance, and ability to slide while aiming Fuck, down sights. Fuck, that's awesome, man. With six distinct combat rigs and three payloads. They're only going to show us three. For each, so there are over 50 combinations for players to choose from. Weapon and weapon craft. Yes, what we're gonna see. And weapon <laughs> have SMGs. always been a core staple in Call of Duty multiplayer, and that couldn't be more true with Infinite Warfare. Spicko. The diverse weapons lineup consists of primary and secondary weapons. Fuck, I love that sun in the best mix. As well as new weapons that provide all new functionality for the player. While players will still be able to rank up and prestige their weapons, for the first time ever, players will also be able to craft base weapons into prototype weapons. Prototype really? Weapons come in four rarity levels and have special Ooh, gun pink. Oh, so cool. their functionality. By collecting and redeeming salvage, the game's crafting currency, players will be able to unlock specific prototypes. Tracker, I've seen Tracker just there. Loadout. Salvage can be earned. These maps look the awesome, game. don't they? Actually, so I'm really play, excited. The more prolific with the atomizer strike gun perk, which gives you a tactical nuke after a 25 oh, player kill streak, and the stability gun perk that reduces recoil. And finally, How are they the floating? Osiris, it's freaking the awesome. Of the EBR I don't care what people said about the space thing. It makes for freaking awesome maps. I like the space increases thing. Damage at range. This new system extends to secondary weapons as well, leading to hundreds of potential weapons to get your hands on. Each oh, that reminds me of the Cat 40 from Black Ops 2. Works. UAV. Future War, Future Tech. Thanks to the unique setting of Infinite Warfare, players will be able to engage with an arsenal of all new tech that brings equipment back oh, into the basement equation in a big way and allows players of all kinds to be successful. Black okay. hole projector. <laughs> okay. Bio spikes not only insta kill enemies, they also send out a cloud of shrapnel to wound anyone in the area. 
Oh, that's oh, cool. Yeah. The this black one. hole projector will pull enemies from cover and suck them into a deadly vortex. Really? Fuck, that's awesome. I don't know how OP that'll be. Score streaks reward players for a wide range of actions, including kills, assists, and points caps. Included in this devastating line of combat support is Thor, a hovering missile platform Love the with name. rapid launching capabilities that can unleash a hellstorm of explosive firepower. Or call in an RC8. Oh, that's and remotely take the fight to the enemy. This heavily armored robot is like a GI unit. Yeah. Or you can jack into its feet so. and manually lay waste to your toughest competition. Yeah, I think this looks better than. It looks like it's going to be really hard. All <laughs> maps. Each combat space <laughs> infinite warfare has been meticulously crafted to feature never before seen environments. Man, it looks so beautiful time, in space. Fan favorite Call of Duty map design elements, like to small size maps and classic three lane map layouts, combine to deliver more high octane in your face multiplayer action than ever before. Building upon Black Ops 3's momentum based movement system, lanes and wall runs are precise. I'm really excited. To That's I love awesome. the sights. They pretty much confirmed. That their movement system is going to be like Black Ops 3. And that's what I wanted. With a variety of gameplay modes to choose from, such as fan favorites like Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed, to objective based modes such as Domination, Hardpoint, and Search and Destroy, players Gotta have, will have a ton of content to get their hands on. In addition, Infinite Warfare will introduce players to a number of new modes, such as Defender, a high stakes game of Keep Away. You have acquired the satellite. The objective okay. is simple. Your team must collect the drone and control it for as long as you can. The team in control of the drone will see a steady increase in points until the drone resets itself, starting the cycle all over again. Let's go. Teamwork is your best strategy with the defender. <laughs> Communicate and protect the carrier when your team is in control of the drone. Coordinate and hunt down the enemy carrier when the enemies have control. I can see that being a competitive mode. With a yeah. focus on rewarding different playstyles and allowing players to earn and craft unique weapons, Infinite Warfare offers the player more choice and more freedom than ever before. While yeah. this may be the future of Warfare, this is still an old school fight. Wow. Pre-order now and get access to the multiplayer beta. The beta, 10th to the 14th. Alright guys, that was it. Um, my sister had to take off just quickly um she basically summarized what she thought of it because she had to rush off but um basically she thought it was good it looked great but she is um she said it looked quite complicated looking at it basically and i guess i guess it does but like because it rings so many bells in terms of similarities with black ops 3 i kind of love where it's going i i've heard that it's like ghosts too but I, I don't think so. I think it's far from Ghost, to be honest with you guys. Um, I love the space setting. I just, I keep saying it again, and I know this thing gets so much hate. I mean, let's have a look. Let's just jump on and have a look together at the dislike to like ratio on these things. Here's, a, here's the, the two minute um, video we watched, the first reaction basically. And you can see here it's got 63,000 likes and 49,000 dislikes. So it's quite. It's quite pretty much even, I would say. Even though it's like a few, it's like ten thousand people, but it's pretty, it's pretty split in terms of what people think of this. I know that when Infinite Warfare, the um, um, the campaign trailer came out, it was pretty like the dislikes were astounding. So let's see if we can find that quickly. Um, let me just duplicate this. So, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. See this? Oh no, it's not that one. Where is it? Here it is, the reveal trailer. Look at that, guys. Look at that. 3.2 million people hated this, disliked it. And only half a million liked that. And when you look at that ratio it's pretty one-sided right but now we look at the multiplayer and we're starting to pull people back now we're in the positives now people more, more people like this and dislike it i think i don't know what it is i think the people that are disliking it are really hard like fixated on what it what they missed about cod like cod 4 and all that 
boots on ground and stuff, but just bear in mind that Call of Duty is remastering COD 4, right? So it's not like you have to deal with this. You could go and play that. And I know it's not a new game, but it, it's there for those people that didn't like this. And I think you've really got to thank them for that, that they're actually thinking of everybody. They realize that this may not be for everybody, and they're trying to compensate for that. So that was the first trailer anyway. So let's look at the overview. Now this is that last one, that seven minute one we watched. It's weighted more in the dislikes. So people tended to hate it more after finding out what it was, uh, after finding out exactly what that trailer meant. I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think, obviously. But I, I kind of just, it's hard to say, but I'm in, I'm in favour for this game. I'm definitely going to buy it. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. Now I've seen it, I'll be definitely pre-ordering it. I'm pretty sure my sister will be pre-ordering it. Um, Wayne is... Well, I haven't really talked to Wayne because I don't think he's watched it yet. But he's a he loves Battlefield. And he loves COD. I don't know exactly what he loves more. But I'm pretty sure it's... It's pretty split for him, so I'd like to see what he thinks, and hopefully he'll put a reaction up for you guys. But yeah, that's basically my feeling of it. There are many cool things in there, so it looks like the it's not quite the specialist that they're doing, but it's sort of like the specialist that Black Ops 3 had. I like that. Uh, the maps look fucking great. Like I'm just going to keep saying that. The maps with like the sun that's just up in the sky, they look fucking crazy, and I love it. Otherwise, you know, the guns hard to say without using them we have to check out the beta what else was there there was like all the attachments they look pretty standard perks look fairly standard I don't know like this to me this is what I wanted so I'm happy anyway guys I'm not sure how this all turned out um, I, I love the game I please let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you are Call of Duty players if you're not will you be playing it after this um, Leave a like if you did enjoy the reaction. I was planning on doing it by myself, and my sister wanted to come watch, and I thought, hey, why, why not put her in the video? So, um, thanks for the support, guys. As always, I'll catch you later, and goodbye! Oh my god, I just still trying to work in the game, guys.